Hi everyone. Today we've got another story of a dinosaur. This time our dinosaur is a triceratops. The title of our story is called There's a Triceratops in the Treehouse. Dinosaur Facts Brought to Life. There's a Triceratops in the Treehouse. Written by Alexi Bitskoff and Ruth Simmons. Triceratops was a big plant-eating dinosaur with three massive horns on his head. He lived around 70 million years ago, many millions of years before the first humans appeared. But just imagine if Triceratops was alive today. How would he cope with modern life? What if Triceratops joined a football team? He had sturdy legs for racing up and down the pitch, but he might pop the ball with his sharp horns. With his metre-long horn the size of a hockey stick, Triceratops would be great at ice hockey. What if Triceratops went to the dentist? It would take the dentist all day to check his teeth. Triceratops could have up to 800 teeth in his mouth. What if Triceratops caught the train? At nine metres long, Triceratops was almost the size of a train carriage. He wouldn't fit in with the other passengers, but he could travel in the goods wagon. What if Triceratops went on holiday? With his sharp parrot-like beak, Triceratops could easily crack open coconuts. They would make a tasty drink for everyone on the beach. But Triceratops would much rather munch on palm leaves. His sharp teeth were perfect for slicing them up. Was Triceratops taller than my dad? Triceratops was much taller than any human. His skull alone was taller than your dad. It was 2.5 metres long. Baby Triceratops was much smaller than its parents. Its head was only just bigger than yours. What if Triceratops went on a school trip? He would have great fun, especially at a castle. He could pretend to fight like a knight. Triceratops wouldn't need armour, as his thick skin was good protection. He wouldn't need a lance because he had two long horns on his head and he was bigger than any horse. What if Triceratops took a ride in a hot air balloon? It would have to be a very big balloon. Triceratops weighed 4.5 tonnes. That's as much as 200 children. What if Triceratops got too hot? Animals keep cool in different ways. Humans sweat and dogs pant. But Triceratops would use his head frill to cool down. Blood flowing to the frill carried heat away from his body. He just had to find some shade or a nice cool breeze. What if Triceratops came to my tree house? He'd be too big and heavy to get in the tree, and his thick legs and chunky feet would make it hard to climb the ladder. But he'd help you all get down. Everything we know about Triceratops comes from fossils, skeletons that have been in the ground for thousands and thousands of years. This means we know lots about dinosaurs, even though no one has ever seen one. Can you have a look at the x-ray of the skeleton of a Triceratops? Let's start at his head. Can you see the two long horns? The one short horn, his sharp beak, thick sturdy legs, big heavy tail, bulky body and the large head frill? See if you can point to those labels. Scientists can look at fossils to work out how dinosaurs lived in the past. Here's our Triceratops passport. Triceratops means a three-horned face. He weighed 4.5 tonnes. He was 9 metres long and 3 metres high. Triceratops lived in scrubland, bush and prairies and liked to eat ferns, palm leaves and other plants. Can you find the Triceratops in this photo? I wonder what the other dinosaur is. Do you think you know? See if you can draw a picture of a Triceratops. Maybe you could add some labels 